Well, hello and thank you for joining me. So uh, today we've got another radio cassette player just turned up for repair or restoration. So I'm not sure what this is yet. So we're going to open this together and see see what it is. Now it's been properly uh, wrapped here. At the time of uh, at the time of filming, we are in uh, approaching autumn in England. And it's rather wet outside, so this is a good way to keep it dry. So we've got some broken, broken radio cassette players coming. They've all got something wrong with them. They've all got something wrong with them or other. So um, we're just going to find, open this one up. And the plan, the plan today, is just to see what we've got and what we'll do in in the future videos. If you'd be so kind as to uh, subscribe and hit the notifications bell, we'll have a proper look at it, um, strip it down. Well, first we'll diagnose what works, what doesn't, what the issues may be, and then we'll start the repair work. So, very typical um, heavy, heavy uh, JVC unit, this one. And I have to say, the, the radio cassette players back in the the late 70s and the 80s really were something beautifully made, really heavy, onboard AC transformers. Oh, hello. I actually expected this to um, to be a smaller unit. And it looks like we've got quite a nice old one here, actually. Late 70s, early 80s, actually. So let's have a look. Almost there. Okay, so here we go. She's an old girl. There we go. Variable monitor mixing play system. Oh, this is a pretty old one. So this one you'll see from the model number on the back. Okay, it's the 9415 LSB. So that's got all the different wavelengths on there. You've got short wave, medium, long wave, and FM as well. And um, yeah, uh, normal and chrome tapes tape counter on there and uh, let's have a look we'll try the eject button for the mechanism nice listen to that lovely good stuff okay now i honestly can't remember what's wrong with this one uh the tuning knob is present so um and there's a nice little vu meter there that looks like it's intact we'll see if it works then we've got all the switch caps are present um the radio tip is present as well we've got the original the radio just there um needs a clean it's like pitted and stuff and then there's a little switch for the beat cut tape radio and some fairly basic but original switches and also what's quite nice is the little retainer mechanism it's got a tiny bit snapped off there for the aerial but it's um it's not too bad so that's that one and also we've got the, uh, let's just see what we've got on the inside. So we've got the mic inputs, the remote, the auxiliary in, um, you've got earphones, all sorts of stuff on the side and the mix level as well for input. Input and output has its own little potentiometer on the side there. Got a lovely feel to it. So yeah, so basically this is the, uh, as I say, this is the 9415 LSB and, uh, We'll be taking a proper closer look. Um, batteries don't look too bad. And slight corrosion on the contacts, that'll clean up. I won't take the, uh, I won't touch this too much because that's so old, that will turn to dust and make a mess everywhere. So we'll put some fresh cushion on that later on. But yeah, anyway, so thank you for watching. That's that one. And stay tuned because we'll be then diagnosing it, seeing if the radio works, seeing what does and doesn't work on the tape mechanism, giving it a good service, a clean, um, cleaning up the uh, the pots, replacing belts, all that kind of stuff. So please, as I say, uh, subscribe and hit the notifications bell for updates. And we'll be back in the near future. Thanks for watching.